was sent to me from sansbeauty.com and the unit I have on is Melba and she's from Sensational Supermodel Series Collection and I have her in the color F1B slash 30 which pretty much is a 1B with really pretty highlights. You're not, honestly, you're not really seeing that many not really seeing that much highlights. This wig is a 6x4 frontal, so you definitely get a lot of parting space, which I really do like because you can part this unit any way you want. You can do it in the middle, like I'm doing, or on the side. And you guys, I was really struggling trying to figure out if I wanted to wear this unit in the middle or the side, but I just decided just to do it in the middle because it was the simplest thing to do. This hair feels really, really soft. Um, really, really soft. I don't have any, um, I guess any cons. The only thing that is kind of driving me a little crazy is the shape of the wig. I feel like this wig is kind of making my head shape look a little weird. Um, but yeah, so when I part it in the middle, it's pretty cute. Um, now, mind you, I did my heat to keep the middle part together. So this may or may not stay. I mean, yeah, this is not gonna stay unless I put more heat to keep it flat. But as you guys can see, if you did wanna do it on the side, you can do that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put her right back in the middle. The only thing that I do wish they would have done more was, oh, you guys have hair everywhere. Don't you hate when your hair gets stuck in the gloss? Only thing that I honestly wish that they would have done was made the frontal part a little denser because I feel like it's just a lot of hair in the front. And if they would have made it more dense, it would have just made the parting space look a lot more natural. You can't tweeze it if you want to, y'all. Um, listen, <laughs> ain't nobody was about to be tweezing some hair right now. This cap does have a lot of stretch to her, so. If you're like me and your hair is not really flat underneath, this wig will still fit you because I actually had to adjust the straps and this wig is still fitting really nicely. So I do love the fit of this wig and the stretch that this wig has. It's just the shape of it is just kind of driving me crazy. Cause she's really soft and the texture is really pretty. It's, the texture is like a light yakky. Um, but I love the texture on this. I definitely wouldn't say that she's beginners friendly because you kind of have to do a lot to customize it the way you want. So wigs that has a free parting, they have its benefits and it has its downs. So it has its benefits in the sense that you could be really creative and really customize the wig to your liking. But if you are a beginner with the wigs and you don't know what you're doing, then having a free party wig, you may have some trouble because you're gonna have to figure out how, how you wanna part it, then you may have to tweeze it, and a whole bunch of stuff. So it has its pros and its cons, but for the most part, I do like free parting wigs because I could just rock it in the middle one day or rock it on the side. So that's one of the benefits about having a free party unit. She's not terrible, not. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at all. I do wish that you did see more of the highlights because I feel like it's not really showing that much. I don't know if it's showing on camera either. I don't know if it's showing too much, but I really feel like they could have just brightened up the highlights in this unit and then I would have really been feeling it. The F1B slash 30 is definitely a perfect color. For those who's not really into bright colors, you guys know me, I like to keep my wig simple. So the two colors that I go to if I'm not doing a 1 or a 1B, I would do this color, the F1B slash 30, or I would do a 99J because it's very subtle and it just really pops, especially in the sun. So, so you guys check this wig out for yourself and see if you like Miss Melba. I'm going to leave a full description of this wig down below. And of course, don't forget to join Gang Gang and I'll see you all back in the next one.